Hi, Jason Nisla here from Specialty. Uh, I just want to make an improvement to my table. Um, the, the tabletop itself could probably use a replacement after a bit, but uh, even if I do that right now, I have a, a more a, a primary problem, which is that the, the base isn't very level, and uh, it causes the tabletop itself to sag. So um, here I have almost uh, almost an eighth of an inch in this uh, in the middle, and then uh, tight at the end. So I'm going to try to improve that. Looking at the end of the table, it's probably about a sixteenth that it's out uh, across the width of the table. So I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Oh, and Peter wants to say hello. Okay, hi, Jason Nisley back here uh, in specialty. I'm super happy with the results of my uh, shimming and uh, fastening my tabletop down. Uh, it's nice and tight, perfectly straight all the way along the length. And again, here on the end, um, there's uh, no gap underneath there. Very, very happy with that. So um, the second thing that I needed to do after I flattened out the table was make sure that uh, it wasn't warped. Um, you can have everything nice and uh, straight, but it can still be, one side can be tilted more than the other. So that's why I have the level here. And uh, I carefully leveled it so it's at the same spot in the uh, bubble from left to right. It's not crucial that it's perfectly leveled, just that it's the same on both sides. A um, couple things I had to do here. Um, this table was really warped, uh, curving up uh, past the end of my um, uh, cabinet. And so I actually used this, uh, this metal strapping and, uh, and screwed and pulled it down nice and that, that brought it down straight. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out, um, I'll look at this other table. Uh, see how there's a gap here at the top of the cabinet? Uh, I'll pull down on it here. You can see that gap closed. That's what my table had a lot of. And so I, um, I used these metal straps. I pulled down on them good. I kept the metal part down just a, a 16th or so. Uh, and screwed it at these screws, and then when I screwed up through, um, it, it would flex the metal, but it pulled down nice and hard and, uh, and kept it tight to my cabinet. So with that tight to the cabinet, that makes it straight all the way along this part. Uh, and again, on this end, I had to put the strapping in uh, to pull this part of my table down because it naturally wanted to warp up. Um, so, yeah. I also had to put a few shims in along the bottom here um, uh, to help the cabinets to be level um, and, and bring the cabinets themselves into line. So one other thing I did is I put a support up through the middle um, because from, from this point to this point, uh, it's about three feet and there was no support. So this part of my table would sag. Now it has uh, pressure coming straight up from the floor all the way to the middle of the table, and that keeps that uh, nice and tight in the middle. So, um, yeah, I'm happy now when I build something. I can tell if the piece is warped. I know my table isn't. So, thank you.